Hey everybody, this is Sani C, and this is the start of my YouTube channel. I am so excited, so I'll start by giving you a little bit about my life. My dad and mommy came together, and guess what? This beautiful, wonderful me was produced in the Bahamas. I am so grateful that I was born into a land where there's sun, sand, sea, and beautiful palm trees. Lovely, lovely place. I was around three years old and I got on that plane and I was shipped off gone, me, to Jamaica with my biological mom. And uh, I, when I got there, I was joined by two older brothers. So it was um, me and Courtney and my oldest brother, Barry. And baby me. At age nine, something terrible happened. My mom, my bio mom, she died. And that was a very, very sad time in my life. So I was again put on a plane, that's me on, on the plane, and I'm back to the Bahamas. And now what my life looks like is that I am the oldest person. I remember I was the youngest, I was the baby in the family in Jamaica. And now I become the oldest of four children in the house. What a difference a day can make. I was fortunate enough to go to where I am going to be biased and say the best elementary school in the Bahamas, Xavier's College. Shout out to Xavier's. And uh, from there, I was also blessed to go to the best, at the time, the best high school, BGHS, best of the best. And from there, I went to our two-year community college, um, College of the Bahamas. After I was finished with College of the Bahamas, this beautiful, sexy, young lady, I want you all to check out, you know, these muscles in these arms that I'm putting, because I'm, I mean, it's for real. I was, you know, ask the people that went to school with me then, they'll tell you. I, yeah, I had it going on. Anyway, I got on a plane again. I mean, it seems like my life is in a plane. But I got on a plane again, and I am off to college. And I better say this, or someone's going to really get me. I went to Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland. Go Bears! Yay! When I got on campus at Morgan State, it was it was like culture shock for me, but I guess I might have been, I probably represented culture shock for them, I don't know. But a couple of the ladies asked me when I got on campus, where was my grass skirt? Because I said I was from the Bahamas. Huh? Where is my grass skirt? WTH? For real? I can't believe they asked me that. And my answer was, 
since you're all crazy enough to ask me that question, I'm, I'm going to give you a crazy answer. It's in my mud hut back home in the Bahamas. In that house that I have, that mud hut, that has a thatched roof. That is where that grass skirt is, okay? Go read a book, please. When, when do they think that grass skirts come from the Bahamas? Anywho, sorry for my Bahamian attitude. So getting closer to graduation, and even before I left, my plan was to go back home to the Bahamas. That was always uh, an ideal for me. I love the Bahamas, and I wanted to be back there, and I couldn't wait to get back home. That's where my friend, my, my, some of my best friends were. And so in 1985, when I'm graduating, I'm like, I'm going back home. But guess what? That did not happen. Instead, what happened is that I met someone and one plus one, I guess made two, we got married and the roots got deep and in 1985 I was committed to staying in the United States. Now, even though I really missed the opportunity or um, missed, you know, missed the dream of going back home, I had my first gift in 1986. His name was AJ. And my second gift, Dante, came along. And he was born in 1988. 1988. My third son came along. My third son, why does he have a hair like that? Oh, that's me with the hair. Okay. My third son came in 1995. His name was Yuri. I always wanted a girl, though. I always, always wanted a girl. And then finally, hallelujah, finally, the answer to my prayer came. The girl, finally, she came. And my Anna Banana blessed me in 1996. And that's when I made a decision for and absolutely no more. You know, while they were growing up, I, I knew the education that I was afforded and back in the Bahamas. And the schools in the area just were, they weren't cutting it for me. So I was introduced uh, to homeschooling. And by the way, y'all, that's a, that's a blackboard, okay? I don't laugh at my drawing. It's real, it's a blackboard. You get, the, you get the drift. Anyway, so I homeschooled the children um, for several years. That was a wonderful experience. So while I was homeschooling um, the children, we had a lot of opportunities to go out and do some things, and we were part of a, of a church that was doing a lot of programming in the community, and we wanted to get some funding to support the programs. And so, ding, 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 a bright idea came to me to start a nonprofit arm of the church so that we can raise funds through grants to um, support the program and it was called Faith Family Outreach. While I'm doing all that work, I'm homeschooling and doing the nonprofit and just, uh, you know, doing things with the family and things seem to be going okay. Uh, one evening we were home on Sunday evening, I was in bed and it was around seven o'clock that evening. And I, for no reason at all, decided I would go downstairs and I smelled something. And guess what? The house was on fire, y'all. It was on fire. And it was the scariest thing that ever happened in 2009 where I watched my house go up in flames. And it was so sad. I just wanted to get the family out and make sure we were okay. I grabbed Anna. We ran down the street just crying. It was a sad day. We had to, we lost everything, everything. I'm talking about 
all of the um, memories that we had and pictures and collectibles and just things that we loved. We lost it. And so we had to end up staying in a hotel. Can you imagine four people staying in a hotel for, I think we were there for almost a month. That was, we were glad to have some place to stay, but after being in your home and then having nothing, losing everything, that was very, very sad. But um, you know what? We made it through. And then after that, we were blessed to find um, a couple apartments and we moved in the four the all four kids we moved in and life tried to regain some normalcy and like cooking dinner instead of having to eat out all the time that was that was welcomed so while I'm in the apartment and um, just before, you know, we get to the house, I, I finally went out to work and now I'm the working professional. That's, you know, that's my briefcase. And guess what? I'm raking in the money now. Yay. Uh, Miss Independent. And so that was a, a good time, I guess because having lost everything and not knowing where, you know, how things are gonna work out and now having a job and can do some better planning, that was really, really good. And I'm working hard for my money. I was really working hard. Now y'all, I don't work hard, I work smart. And now a lot of things has happened since that, but now I'm in just in a new season in my life. I have a new job. I'm newly single. Can you believe that? Newly single. Yes, I am single again. I am, um, it's a new me. And I have believed there are new opportunities out there. I've started this new two channel because um, it's the new me, it's a new season. And being single again, this really gives me something great to do. And meet new friends. So, this new tube channel that I have really represents the new me a new adventure, um, looking through a new lens. And I just wanted to highlight the um, Me Too camp, um, thing that's going on right now. I wanna say hashtag Me Too, right? But I wanna add that I, it's no longer a source of pain for me. This is now um, a testimony of the strength that lies within me because I got the help that I needed. And so, you know what? It's me too with help. Get help. Let me say this every Tuesday and Friday. I need you to meet me here. We're doing some really great things. We're going to have fun and you'll get to know more about me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.